Now, after a highly successful 2023, the Indian Space Agency, or ISRO, is geared up for its maiden launch of this new year, India's PSLV C58 mission. It is all set to launch the X-ray polarimeter satellite or Exposat today. The mission is the first dedicated polarimetry mission of the nation. The Exposat mission will try to unravel the mysteries of black holes. Exposat will be launched into an eastward low inclination orbit at 9.10 a.m. local time today. The satellite will be launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center located in Sri Harikota. The mission will be studying the 50 brightest known sources in the universe. The new satellite seeks to understand the intricacies of bright celestial X-ray sources. This by examining their complicated dynamics and harsh circumstances. The Exposat spacecraft is carrying cutting-edge technology which is designed particularly for low Earth orbit exploration. The satellite's configuration is adapted from the IMS 2 bus platform with the mainframe systems drawing from the heritage of IRS satellites. According to ISRO, the mission life stands to about five years. Exposat carries two primary payloads, Pollux, which is a polarimeter instrument that helps in taking X-rays, and the second payload is Expect, which studies the X-rays and timing in space. Now, in layman terms, a payload refers to the valuable cargo a spacecraft carries, like satellites, scientific instruments, or equipment. It's something that we send to space or specific for specific purposes, whether it's communication, exploration, or research. Now, let's delve deeper into the specifications of these payloads, starting with Pollux. The payload will help measure polarization of X-rays in the energy band originating from approximately 50 potential cosmic sources. Now, to achieve these polarization measurements, the payload will employ the Thomson scattering technology. The Thomson scattering is like sunlight bouncing off a mirror. It helps one to understand how X-rays behave by looking at how they scatter or bounce off other particles in space. Moving on to the second payload, EXPECT. It will conduct a long-term spectral and temporal studies of cosmic X-ray sources in the set energy band. The payload will focus on analyzing X-ray emissions from different cosmic sources. For more details on this story, we have our correspondent Siddharth MP on the phone line. Siddharth, do tell us what you're learning about this big launch today. So basically, this is ISRO's first launch mission of the new year, and uh, ISRO is actually starting off with a launch. In fact, this is the 60th launch solar satellite launch vehicle or the workhouse rocket of India. Solar satellite launch vehicle has been flying since 1993, and at least 300 satellites from India and abroad have been put into space by PSLV. So this uh, is not a routine mission. In fact, this is quite a unique mission given that this is a science mission. So ISRO typically does three types of missions. One is national missions, which are kind of routine, which is, you know, putting up communication satellites, putting up Earth observation satellites and so on. And then there's also the commercial missions where ISRO, you know, collects money from customers and puts customer satellites into orbit. But this is a science mission that is mainly targeted uh, to benefit Indian academia, Indian researchers, astronomers. So this is a very niche mission. For example, over the last six months alone, India has done three science missions. One of them is Chandrayaan 3 to study the moon, a successful mission, highly successful one at that. That was in July last year. And then we also had um, Aditya L1, which was launched in September to study the sun. And now we have exposed that X-ray polar energy mission, which is being launched uh, today. So what we have to remember is that these are these science missions. So, you know, not in all cases will the public be able to completely connect with these missions. Of course, Chandrayaan was a different case because of the right. sort of uh, emotional connection that it has with the public. But ExpoSat is a niche mission that mostly appeals to astronomers and those who are in this niche field of understanding these X-rays that originate from space because that will help them unravel several mysteries of the universe. Siddharth, thank you for joining us on the broadcast. We will track the launch very closely.